Welcome to the MBS plugin presentation here for DEF CON. My name is Christian Schmitz and I will present you what's new in the MBS plugin. Our MBS plugin is now available for 12 years. We got over 5300 functions and we are constantly adding new functions for you. If you have time, please try our 500 example databases with all the functions we offer. The MES plugin comes as one plugin file, so it's easy to install and update, and only the parts you use are actually loaded in memory and active. You can install the plugin manually by copying the right plugin file into the extensions folder or by using the install plugin file script step. We support FileMaker 8.5 and newer on Mac and FileMaker 7 to 17 on Windows and FileMaker 16 is supported since 7.2 and FileMaker 17 since 8.2. The MES FileMaker plugin can be used on all the FileMaker targets. So with FileMaker Pro or Advanced and Runtime, you install the Mac or Windows plugin. For the FileMaker server, with WebDirect, you install the plugin on the server. For FileMaker Cloud, we have a Linux version of the plugin. We even have a FileMaker plugin for iOS, so you can use it with the iOS SDK. And with FileMaker Go, you can use the plugin using Perform Script after you installed it on the server. The MES plugin doesn't add 5000 functions to the calculation dialog, we just add one function. The MES function takes as the first parameter the actual function name. This can be calculated at runtime or picked from a field, and you can decide what function to call. Each function may return an error message and the best way to check for an error is to use the MBS is error function to tell you if the last command in the same script caused an error. A lot of functions are using objects with reference numbers. So for example, json.parse will return you an ID for the JSON object in memory, so you can pass this ID to JSON format function and then later release the object with JSON release function. We don't want to list all the 5000 functions here, we just want to show you what's new. So let's go and see what the plugin offers. With our curl functions, you can do HTTP and FTP transfers for up and downloads. We support SSH and SFTP transfers. You can use all the SSL and TLS options for encrypted transfers, as well as proxies to connect in corporate environments. We support authentication in various ways and you can run a transfer in the background. So whatever dialog FileMaker may show, the transfer will continue in the background. We can delete and rename files for FTP, as well as run other commands like changing the permissions. We support a lot of web services, like SOAP and REST, and deliver some example databases, for example, the one for Amazon S3. You can include custom HTTP headers in your requests, which is very handy for various web services to pass on the authentication tokens. We can send emails via SMTP, so you can pass in multiple attachments, HTML texts and plain text. You can even include inline graphics in your HTML file and include the graphics as a separate attachment type to your email. We have an example for batch sending emails which can send emails faster than usually in FileMaker by using parallel transfers and reusing connections. We can also receive emails via IMAP and POP3 
So you can download an email, extract the subject, the recipients, the content, and then delete or move the email to the right folder. This way you can automatically process emails you receive regularly and import all the content into your database automatically. We also offer the Windows MAPI functions to talk to the installed email application. Um, this screenshot is an example for passing an HTML email to Outlook. In the MES plugin we have a lot of PDF functions. We can either use the PDF kit framework on Mac and use all the PDF features Apple supports or we use the Dyna PDF functions which use a cross-platform PDF library which is available with the MBS plugin but it's an extra license. Both PDF libraries can do the normal merge PDF so you can add your terms and conditions PDF to your existing invoice PDF you can split PDFs, you can render pictures from pages, for example, to show them in a non-interactive container instead of providing the PDF to the user. You can print a PDF on a Mac with PDF Kit or with Dyna PDF on Windows. You can extract the text from a PDF and look for certain things like invoice numbers. You can add blank pages or pages based on images. And with Dyna PDF we have even more features available, including the creation of PDFs without FileMaker. You can edit an existing PDF. You can of course merge PDFs and render PDFs as files, as image files. You can convert existing PDFs to PDFA and PDFX format if needed. You can embed XML in PDFs, which is a standard in, in Germany called Zugfert for having your invoice as a PDF, including an XML with the details inside the PDF. You can create form fields. You can set values there. You can send the PDF to the user. The user fills in the form, returns the PDF, and you can query the values from the form fields. You can extract images from a PDF as well as replacing existing images in your PDF files. You can extract text in a given area to only get the text of, for example, again an invoice number if it's always on the same area on the page. And we can encrypt and decrypt PDFs with a password. In a PDF we can search text and replace it with new text as well as highlight text. So if you want to show the search results in a PDF page you can highlight all the text pieces with for example a yellow annotation. If you make PDFs from scratch you can use our table functions for layouting your content. We have an example to create an invoice from scratch with the plugin. You can add new annotations you can query existing annotations, you can remove the annotations and of course you can flatten annotations so, so they are no longer editable. You can add links to pages or URLs to your PDF pages. So you can add an index page to jump to the right location in your PDFs or you can make all the links clickable. We have an example to add page numbers and we can digitally sign PDF files. Our optimize PDF command can recreate the structure of a PDF to fix any existing errors on the PDF. We can scale down images and convert to JPEG and we can replace duplicate fonts and images with references to reduce the file size even more. And if your PDF contains private data from a PDF creation tool like InDesign, we can remove that to even shrink the PDF more. For encryption and hashes, we have elliptic curve digital signatures, which you may need for, 
for point of sales in Austria, for example, we can do RS, RSA signatures and encryption, which may be needed for some web services as well as the hashes for the authentication. Then we have plugin offers data structures like global variables, which are independent of the database file and shared by all the users on the same server or the same client. We have associative arrays in form of dictionary where you can store any value based on a key. And the lookup is quicker than any database lookup. Same for QuickList, which was created to allow you to store indexed lists in memory and quickly access them without passing around the whole list as text. We also preserve data types for the dictionary and global variables, so if you put in a container, you get back a container. We also allow you to read and write Excel files without having Microsoft Excel installed. This supports the older, Excel, the older XLS format and the newer XLS X format. You can add content, delete content and modify content including fonts, formats, sheets, cells and images. And we recently got new functions to read and write cells with lists so you can pass in a thousand values directly. This is a great tool to post-process Excel files exported by FileMaker as well as pre-process the Excel files before importing them to FileMaker. We also have functions to work with Word files. So you can load an existing Word file as a template. You can extract the text, replace placeholders with values, query or fill form fields in Word. If you have tables there, you can add extra rows and add content, and you can write the resulting doc file back to the disk. If you want to use machine learning on Mac and iOS, you can check out the Core ML functions, which allow you to load an existing Core ML model to classify images or run any model you like. The example here is to classify pictures and as you see we detected the zebras on the picture. But this can work for other things like to detect the company in an existing text record. We have SQL commands to run inside FileMaker. For example, you can do insert, delete or update to records without switching the layouts. We preserve the data types and build the SQL commands for you. You just pass in the field names, the values and of course table and file name. We can also in that records via query. So we run a SQL query in one table and put the records in another table. This allows you to easily copy from one table to another table, to duplicate records within the same file, or to migrate from one table with other table and the field names don't need to match. We can insert records from tab and return as well as from CSV texts. And if you run a SQL select, you can also have the results that stay in memory, so you can query individual fields and retain the data type so you can get containers and dates without converting them to text. The MES FileMaker plugin allows you to connect to other databases with native drivers. This means you can connect in a script independent of the built-in ESS and FileMaker and connect to those database servers here and copy records from FileMaker to the external database server or to import data. You can of course run any SQL command you like or call stored procedures as needed. While we can use ODBC for a lot of database types, we also support direct connections. So you can use MySQL for example without an ODBC driver. On Mac and iOS you can use the local address book, calendar and reminder databases on the device 
so we can access all the contacts we can import values into FileMaker we can create new contacts calendars new reminders new appointments you can have them synced to your iPhone to your iCloud Exchange and Google servers and it's very handy to have all your contacts from FileMaker synchronized to a group on your iPhone so if one of your clients is calling you you see the name. Next we have schedules. So we can run a script by name from any file but we can especially run the script at a certain time on the day like at 5 o'clock every day we can run it at a certain timestamp like tomorrow at 3 o'clock we can run it in 5 seconds or we can run it when the user is idle. You can query the current schedules, you can cancel anything, modify it and it's very common to log out the user or leave the current field if the user is not doing anything for 5 minutes. This avoids having logging hours on your database. We have a lot of file functions in the plugin, so if you need to copy, move, rename, delete files or folders, you can do that with the MBS plugin. You can query file information like sizes, dates and uh, metadata tags. On the FileMaker server, it's very handy to mount network volumes, copy a few backup files to the network volume and then unmount it. You can query the disk information and send yourself an email if the disk is full. You can check if files are in use and you can monitor folders for changes so you can define your own hot folder where you drop in files and your scripts automatically import them. The MES plugin comes with a lot of graphics magic functions for image editing. So we can load images and convert them to other formats. We scale pictures, rotate them, compose pictures, so placing one picture on another picture, and we can of course mirror them if needed. We can draw vector graphics and text on top of the picture. We can find positioning in the images so you know maybe where a certain line starts. We can read metadata from the pictures and we can convert vector graphics to bitmap. You can define a hotkey, so you trigger a script by certain key combinations and this can be very handy, especially as the key combination can trigger a script in FileMaker even if FileMaker is in the background. We offer notifications for Mac, Windows and iOS, so you can create no notifications and show them to the user at a certain time. For iOS we also support push notifications, so you can receive them with your iOS solution. We have a lot of functions for the web viewer, so you can run JavaScript in the web viewer and modify the current website. You can of course extract the current HTML and text from the website. You can query form fields and automatically fill them, which can be very handy if you have to order from the same web shop every day and you don't want in to type your address every time yourself. You can read text and links and images on a website. So if the website shows some valuable information, you can just copy it. You can print web pages and render images or PDFs from a web page to store for later review. The MES plugin has functions for sockets and serial ports. So we can create TCP and UDP sockets and connect to devices. We also allow you to use UDP broadcast so you can send a message to all devices on the local network. The server socket functions allow you to listen for incoming connections and react to them. You can use serial ports in FileMaker with either the local COM ports on the machine or using USB adapters. You can configure all the connection settings and then transfer data to and from your COM devices. This can be very handy for various scales or external measurement devices. 
and for both serial ports and sockets you can get a script trigger for incoming data so you can react when new data is available. We have a couple of printing functions so you can list the printers and you can control the print dialog on Mac and Windows. On Mac you can also print the PDF files directly and for both you can switch printers as needed by script, select the paper, the paper try and that a few more options. With MBS plugin you can scan documents using either a flatbed or a document feeder. We use Image Capture API on Mac to scan from all the devices supported by Apple. On Windows we use Image Accretion which allows you to well, contact scanners and your scanner will work as long as it also works in other applications like Paint. We also support the older Twain interface which is deprecated by Apple but you can still use it for Mac and Windows if you have a driver supported for the current 64-bit version of FileMaker. For all three you can scan with or without dialog. So you can trigger a scan from the script and then import all the files to the database. Optionally, you can of course use OCR features on the MBS plugin to recognize the text on a page. The MBS plugin allows you to create custom context menus, so you can build your own menu in code, add your formatting, your check marks, your submenus, add some color, and you can decide what to do on each menu entry, including triggering scripts for menu entries or to just get back the ID of the menu item selected. We have a lot of XML functions, so you can query XML trees, you can extract text values, you can list the values, the attributes, you can change them of course, you can set and get values based on a path, and you can pass once and query often for better performance. We allow you to validate an XML file and you can run XPath queries against an XML file to find the nodes you are interested in. For JSON and XML we have an import feature which allows you to pass in a JSON or XML block to the plugin. It detects the records, creates automatically the tables and fields import the records and then you can build the matching layouts and scripts after the first import. This allows you to import big JSON and XML data blocks without writing your own import function or an XLST file for XML. The MBS plugin also allows you to format XML and JSON, add color and add line numbers so you can show it to the user in a nice way. The MES plugin allows you to run command line tools with the shell functions. You can pass in parameters, environment variables and your input text. You can read the output of the application and you can get a trigger if new output is coming or the application finished. You can even force quit the process if it takes too long. This is very handy to run commands like FFmpeg to transcode videos, the zip tool, the ping tool, some Python scripts, change the preferences on Mac with defaults application, or to run FileMaker Server admin commands to change your FileMaker Server. The MES plugin allows you to use regular expressions, so you can compile a pattern once and use it often. You can run a pattern against the text and query the substrings you found. You can find matching items in a list and you can search and replace text based on the patterns. Recently we added a new loop functions for our plugin. So you can run a for loop within a function call. You provide the variable name to count up or downwards. You provide the start and the end value as well as the step. So we can count from the start value to the end value for each time we um, run we each time we run the given expression 
and as long as the exit expression is not two, we continue the loop, and so you can run a million, f million loops with no recursion limit. Next, we have functions for FileMaker iOS SDK. So you can use the health kit database and query your health values. You can use the store kit to run in-app purchases and sell your solution. You can use the image picker to take pictures and put an overlay on top of the image picker. You can compose messages for text or email as well as social messages. We have core location functions to locate the, where you are and query back addresses for locations. You can run JavaScript without a web viewer as well as use all the web viewer functions we showed previously. You can use the PDF kit functions on the iOS device to work with PDF files. You can use AV export functions to transcode videos. You can use CG image source to read various image files. You can use all the clipboard functions on the device. With Spotlight Search, you can find things on your iOS device. And the rich text functions allow you to load and write RTF files. And we got a few triggers, so you can be notified if memory is low or your device is about to go to sleep. For Mac and Windows, we offer drag and drop, so you can select the file on the Explorer, drop it to the drop area, and a script is triggered, which allows you to process all the files. And this allows you to accept files which are delivered on promise. So this works for the Photos application on Mac, as well as for Outlook attachments on Windows. The MES plugin can work with barcodes. We can generate over 80 types of barcodes. So if you need anything with barcodes, please check the plugin. We can also detect uh, the given list here of barcodes. So if you have a QR code and uh, you like to get the text back, we can extract that. And for our Swiss users, we got an example for the payment barcodes used in Switzerland. So they can make the invoices correctly. The MES plugin offers a rule-based syntax highlighting for Mac, so you can define which scripts steps show in which color. We offer a context menu to run, well, menus right on the mouse click. We highlight the loops in a script. We allow you to search the relationship graph. We allow you to search within the current script and jump to the line by the line number. We can show you the script IDs, layout IDs, field IDs, and table IDs, so you can use them with the plugin functions. And if you have the layout, dialog and the database fields dialogs. We also remember the Columbus, so you don't need to resize the columns every time you enter those dialogs. Here's an example of the zoom feature in the MBS plugin. As you see, the script steps have been zoomed to the double size. We can also search in calculations as well as color them, so you can enjoy nice calculations with color and you can search and replace text in your calculations as well as custom functions. This is an example of searching lists in FileMaker. So if you like to find an entry on one of the many lists in FileMaker, you can just press Command F while the list is on focus and then type in your search and jump through the search items which are highlighted in yellow. The MES plugin has a website, of course, where you can learn more. We have a blog where we present tips and new releases re regularly. We have a videos website where you can find this video. And please sign up for newsletters on our website so you stay informed for new releases. Thank you.